Hey everybody, Leah Seidel here with Golden Oak Personal Training. Listen, we specialize in training people who are 50 years and older, so a huge part of our business is working on fall prevention with older adults. So, I don't know where you live, but I live in the Midwest, and we got hit with some nasty snow, some rain, some freezing rain, some ice happening, so we have a big icy mess outside, and it's really easy to fall when you're walking outside, especially if you're walking with a dog. Um, I know last year I took a huge spill. Um, I was walking around not paying attention because I was stressed out about work and all these things that I had to do, the dishes, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing I knew, my feet were above my head in a really sweet banana peel fall. I landed on the ground. My dog just kind of looked at me like, what the heck are you doing down here? And I had to get up and move on, and it was super embarrassing. My neighbors saw me. It was just not cool. So let me save you the embarrassment. Here's four tips to keep yourself safe when you're getting your exercise on outside in icy, wintry conditions. Tip number one, make sure you are aware of your surroundings. The biggest reason that I fell last year was because I was not paying attention. Like I said, I was thinking about what I had to do, what my to-do list was. It was dark, I didn't bring my light with me. You know, pay attention, you guys. If it's dark, bring a light. Make sure you're paying attention to, to the surfaces. Are they shiny? Is it dull? What, what's going on around you? Number two, walk with a wide base of support. If you think about a pyramid and we're trying to balance on a narrow base of support, it's gonna be really easy to tip over. Now, if you're balancing with a wide base of support, you're a lot more stable and a fall is less likely. So tip number two, keep your feet hip width apart or wider as you walk. Tip number three, walk with a shorter stride than normal. I know when you're trying to get your exercise on, it feels really good to take that big step, a power walk-in step, but if you shorten your stride, you're gonna be less likely to fall. Now, our fourth and final tip here, Think about when you're on ice and you're tense and you're worried about falling, what happens? Your body typically locks out, right? We lock our joints, we keep our knees really straight and locked out, and we're tense through our shoulders and our upper body. If you can take a breath and relax the upper body, keep the knees slightly bent here, you're gonna be a lot less likely to fall. If you think about an athlete when they're in that ready stance, right? The knees are bent, you have a little hinge of the hips, the upper body is relaxed, you're ready to dive and jump and run in any direction. That's what we want when we're walking on ice. So again, just a quick recap, keep your awareness when you're out there, look at the surroundings, stay focused on what you're doing, don't let your day distract you, keep a wide base of support, take some shorter strides here, and then relax, keep the joints loose. All right, you guys, I hope that keeps you safe this winter when you're getting your fitness on outside. Have an awesome day.